Hi everybody, Nick Schaefer here. As we inch closer to the beginning of the school year, I understand that many of us, including myself, probably have some anxiety of what the school year would look like. As we wait to see whether we're remote or hybrid, we decided that we wanted to take the opportunity to go over the SG agenda during those nine professional development days. Whether you're aware or not, whether we go hybrid or whether we go remote, all professional learning will be virtual. So what I'm about to walk you through is the actual professional development agenda for the SG portions of professional development. So we're going to go ahead and start on our very first page here. And I want to kind of bring your attention to our key. So we will be shifting to Microsoft Teams this upcoming school year. So when I'm referring to where it says red text, full group Microsoft Teams session, that is the group in which the entire staff body is in one giant Microsoft Teams session. When I'm looking at the green text and we're talking about small group Microsoft Teams sessions, I'm looking at breakout rooms. So significantly smaller where participants can collaborate and communicate with one another. Purple text is pretty self-explanatory. This is an opportunity for you to work independently. And then orange text will be optional sessions we are providing on our end at St. George's. Now, as you can see here, we're gonna start on August 25th, but professional development really starts on August 24th. It's a district full PD day. More information about what district is offering will be provided at a future date. So on St. George's, first PD day, we're going to be doing the following. So from 745 to 8, we're going to ask that you join the general Microsoft team video session. That's 15 minutes to allow you to jump in and get situated and ready as we're about to go over some important information. From 8 to 910, we're going to have a welcoming back message from Dr. Reynolds. We're going to do an activating activity and we're going to play our very first icebreaker game. Following, we're going to provide you about an hour and 10 minutes to review our hybrid remote learning protocol playbook. We've been working on this protocol playbook over the entirety of this summer. And these are the end all be all in regards to what we're expected to do this upcoming school year. Now, as a means to ensure that you're kind of kept abreast with all of the information, we're providing you early access to this document. So we ask that you peruse the document and be ready because as we jump into day two of professional learning, we, during this hour and 10 minutes, will be really taking a deep dive in all of the different aspects of the actual playbook itself. From 1030 to 11, you'll be completing a Google form independently. Then we'll jump to lunch. From 12 to 1, we'll be taking part in our small group department meetings. And then from 1 to 3, you'll have the opportunity to work with your colleagues. Now, we are providing some optional sessions on that first St. George's PD day. From 1 to 1.30, we'll be doing a step-by-step -step lesson plan template that's going to be found in that learning protocol playbook. From 1.30 to 2, we'll be doing a step-by-step -step digital syllabus template. Again, the template found in that protocol playbook. From 2 to 2.30, we're going to do an overview of Microsoft Teams. This will be additional training um, that will complement the training being provided by district. And then from 2.30 to 3, we're going to have a session on meaningful digital discussions. Please note that if you're not able to attend these meetings, they will be recorded and uploaded on the St. George's Exchange. So let's go ahead and jump to our uh, agenda for the second day. Um, this would be August 26, and this is another full day St. George's Day. So from 7.45 to 8, again, we're going to ask that you jump into that video and get ready for a day's worth of learning. From 8 to 8.50, we're going to play our second game, and we're going to provide you an overview of the equity data presentation that we've been putting together over the course of the summer. And you'll have an opportunity to reflect on the actual data itself. From 9 to 10, you're going to take the opportunity to peruse through the data and reflect and write down your notices and wonders. From 10 to 10.30, in your small groups, you have the ability to share out your notices and wonders with one another. And then from 10.30 to 11, we're going to come back full group and share out our big takeaways from our breakout sessions. From 11.30 to 12, you're going to complete a reflection flip grid. 
Then we're going to move to lunch. When we come back from lunch, we will be providing instruction over different logic models that were created over the course of the summer. And you'll have an opportunity from 110 to 150 to review those logic models so you see what committees and what work we are planning to do in the future in regards to our equity initiative. From 150 to 240, we're going to have an equity umbrella Q&A session. And then from 240 to 3, we'll end with a Google form. And that's going to complete our day two. Now, we're going to move on to August 27th, 28th, and the 31st. These are half day with district in the morning, half day St. George's in the afternoon. On the 27th, you'll have time to jump into the meeting. And from 1230 to 1, um, inclusion is going to provide some information in regards to um, some experiences they encountered and some accommodations and how we can provide supports to our most needy um, during remote and hybrid learning. And then from one to three, you'll have an opportunity to work with your department or grade level. On August 28th, we'll have time to jump into our video session. And then from 1230 to one, we're going to provide you the structure and overview of what PLCs would look like in a virtual setting. Then you will have two hours to work with your colleagues. On the 31st, you'll have time to jump into the video session. And then for a half hour, we're going to take a deeper dive into restorative practices and what we can do to ensure that we are meeting the needs of our students during this hybrid and remote learning process. Then again, you will have time to work with your colleagues. Moving down, we're going to focus on September 1st through the 3rd. On September 1st, our big focus is on trauma awareness, and then you'll have time to work with your colleagues. On September 2nd, our big focus is on wellness, and then you'll have hours to work with your colleagues. And then on September 3rd, our focus is on diversity, equity, and inclusion, where you will also have time to work with your colleagues. Please note that in regards to the amount of time we are providing for collaboration, we are providing over the course of nine days, 14 hours for you to collaborate with your peers. In addition, district is also putting aside time for us to work with one another. They are putting in approximately 17.5 hours. All together during the nine days of PD, you will have over 30 hours to plan collaboratively with one another for the beginning of the school year, in addition to a host of training to ensure you feel comfortable and you feel ready um, for a successful start. So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Any other instructional coaches are your administrator and we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks and enjoy the last bit of your summer.